yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Uh, right here, where we're here today, we may come in agreement. I just feel led by the Spirit to come in agreement for the children. For the children from one end of the nation to the other that are going through so much right now. Yes. With this immigration situation. Uh, let us pray for all those that have been uh, traumatized and the issues of human rights and everything that is going on. Let us pray that God will just get everything straightened out. That uh -huh. they will be comforted. That there will be at peace and joy. That they will yeah. be restored unto their families. Let us pray. Almighty God, you, we come in agreement today. Believing, O oh God, for your mighty hand, your mighty comfort, your restoration, your blessings upon these families and upon the children from one end of the country to the other. Yes, Lord. Lord, we pray that you wash away, that you comfort them in this time of tears, of so much sorrow, dear God. Restore, O oh God. We call on you that you would have your way because, God, you are in control of everything. Restore, O oh God. Restore the families. Lord, restore the children. And Lord, we pray that you wipe away the tears. We speak peace. We speak joy. And we speak the blessings, Lord, of your order above everything else. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. amen and amen. amen. There's so much going on all over the nation. And I really appreciate everyone here. Patricia, you were saying about carrying the word, carrying the light, carrying the message. Out of the four walls of this church, well, it is really awesome. It is really something because there is so much going on as we speak. Yes. But praise be to God that He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. And if we go as the Spirit leads and the authority of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to take His message yes. for a world that is hurting right yes. now. A world in confusion. Yes. A yes. world that is in rebellion as well against oh, yeah. God. Yes. We we just have to call on God and to pray and fast yes. for such a time as this, yes. for everything going on. Yes. I was praying, I said, Lord, what is your message for today? And Lord, you know, because things can go either way, it takes just one person. Mm. Either to take the word of God, to take the message, or it takes one person to take something else apart from God. Mm -hmm. And it is happening. It is happening in, in homes. It is happening in churches, sad to say. It is happening in the nation at times. And we go like, oh my God. Yeah. And right now we face an attitude out there like, wow, is that Christianity? Mm -hmm. Is that what God is doing? God is a God of love. And the word says that we, if we don't have love, we don't have God because God is love. Yes. Yes. We're at a very critical point in time. I said, Lord, what is your message for today? Mm -hmm. Apostasy. The ripple effect. Mm. Because it is happening. There is a, a, a defecting. There is a going, falling away. There is a disobedience. Mm -hmm. Even amongst believers right now. Oh, yeah. I've talked to people these past several days that are believing in God, but... Do we have time to live for God? Mm -hmm. A lot of times we don't. Mm -hmm. So we yeah, I believe. Oh. Oh. So this spirit, this mindset, mm -hmm. that it starts with an apostate. And it has a ripple effect mm -hmm. in families, yeah. in nations. Yes. From the ivory towers of, of education to the ivory towers of government. Yes. From the church steeples to the home as well. Because the moment we start to dilute the Word of God and to say, I'll just take this and I'll take that, it's not going to work. Amen. It's not going to work. It's just like the chef making a big pot of soup and he decides to throw everything else. There's sometimes it's like, oh my God, why did he just throw it in? <laughs> At the end of the day, nobody wants to eat it. Uh. And then what God is saying right now that either there is a direction in His Word in the fullness with His plan of salvation because everything apart from God is not going to work. Mm -hmm. That's good. Even the spirit of religion tries to contaminate everything that is truth yes. because there are religious spirits. Mm -hmm. yes. There are hierarchies out there. There are strongholds. 
Yes. Things that don't conform to the will of God. That's right. So this spirit of apostasy, this mindset, that ripple effect that is contaminating many right now. We either discern or we fall in the deception of the enemy. Mm -hmm. yes. And right now as we speak everything that is going on, we better be shifting gears. Oh yeah. We better keep going more in the authority. We better be praying and fasting and taking yes. a deeper dive. Thank you, Lord. With a relationship with yes. Jesus Christ. Right. With the power of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Because what has happened here in a lot of places, there is this form of godliness. Oh, come on, man. Gloria. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All this gloria. Yeah. And all this style that we see. Mm -hmm. But we're still missing something. Mm -hmm. We're still missing substance. Yes, yes. The power of the living God. Yes. And the message of salvation. Mm -hmm. Because God is bringing a screeching halt to this Lari Da. Mm -hmm. Because He's a holy God. Yes, He is. And He's saying this has got to go and that has got to go. Yes. Because there's people that need God. Yes. We need Him even more today than yesterday. Uh -huh. yes, and it said in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3 and verse 1, And to God be the glory, Amen. because His Word yes. is forever. Yes, it is. And the Word says that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Uh -huh. Yes, in the book of 2 Timothy, and, the ver and chapter 3, and verse 1, yes. God is so awesome. Yes, He is. Amen. Second Timothy, uh, verse one, and God is just moving in a mighty way. Praise God. Well, Thank praise you Lord. God. Chapter Hallelujah. three, Second Timothy, verse one. This is what the Word of God says. This know also. Yes. That in the last day, perilous times shall come. Yes. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. All right, yeah. Covetous, boasters, proud. Blasphemers, uh -huh. disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, uh -huh. without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, yes. incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, yeah. traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures, mm -hmm. more than lovers of God. Yes. Having a form of godliness, yes. but denying the power thereof. Amen. From such, yes. turn away. Turn away. For, the, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women, mm. laden with sins, mm. led away with diverse lust, mm. ever learning and yes. never yes. able to come to the knowledge of the truth. That's right. See, there's many isms. Yes. There's many opinions, uh -huh. but then there's the power of God. Yes. Because all these opinions are like seducing spirits uh -huh. yeah. that are infiltrating the mindset yeah. of a church yeah. and the mindset of leadership groups and leadership roles all over the nation. Uh -huh. Because a lot of times we start to misinterpret the word, we start to misinterpret everything else, yeah. and God is saying, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah. Because he's a holy God. And it says yes. right here that lovers of self. Yes. As I tell the men at the jail that, you know, this horse, and I always like to share this. God is staying, telling the men through his word and his time that we get up for high horse. Yeah. Because that horse has a name. <laughs> oh, my God. Pride. Yeah. yeah. Because he Ooh. wants to teach us. Yes. He wants to anoint us with a yes, fresh yes. anointing, yes. like fresh fire for such a time as this. Yes, that's right. Yes. Because this, verse 5 says, having a form of mm -hmm. godliness, yes. but denying the I power know. thereof. Mm -hmm. Believe me, visiting with people for these past two weeks, there's denominations that are set in their own ways. Yes. <laughs> you know what they call this oh, speaking no. in tongues? <laughs> you know what they call the move of the oh, Spirit? Yeah. Babbling? I heard the one say, you know what they said in this church, you know, Apostle here? They're a bunch of hogwash. Oh, oh my God, I'd be scared mm. to come against those, with those opinions. Yeah. With those ideas that don't line up with the Word of God. Amen. So this is what's happening. This is setting apart. Yeah. <laughs> that saying, you know, slowly but surely, that's what the enemy wants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it just takes a few words. Yes. And right now we see this apostasy, this ripple effect that many out there yeah. 
There's that spirit of rebellion right now. Oh, yeah. That is so evident in families. I talked to a certain person the other day, and I said, well, you know, we, our families believed in God, but this is going on, this is going on, that's going on. That's yeah. a, this is a strategy of the enemy. Uh -huh. But why? Because it starts with an apostate. Yeah. It starts with his rebellion. Yeah. It starts even with a certain person that tries to, one word at a time, and tries to infiltrate. Mm -hmm. Like the enemy tries to infiltrate the people of God. Mm -hmm. And tries to change your mind and our thoughts. And uh, Sunday's enough for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, more than enough. More than, I'll tell you, it's about a relationship every day. This is what the Word of God says. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Since there is that form of godliness, mm -hmm. but denying the power thereof. Mm -hmm. And we see it every day. Yes. And people are just still bound in certain things. So wait a minute. Yeah. Well, praise be to God. So I thought, you know, in this message, I said, well, there's a form of godliness mm -hmm. that is causing this apostasy. Mm -hmm. Then there is a total rejection of Christianity right now. Yeah. You know, with some of the things that we read online and just by talking to some people, it seems like you say something of God and, oh boy, they want to throw a fiddle. They want to yeah. run right away. So, whoa, yeah. what did I say wrong? <laughs> the rejection of God. Yeah. And if you look in the first, in the book of 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15, this God is so awesome. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15. This is the word of God that is just teaching us, you know, He wants us to overflow in His Spirit and His Word that we can have an impact yeah. over the sea, over the highways and hedges, in the marketplace, in the nation, right about it. Speak it, mm -hmm. declare it, and decree it. Yes. Hallelujah. And he says, First John chapter 2 and verse 15, Love not the world, yes. neither the things that are in the world, mm -hmm. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Yeah. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life mm -hmm. is not of the Father, but it is of the world. Yes. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God, Abide it forever. Amen. Look at verse 19. Just read. Little children, it is the last time, as you have heard, that the Antichrist mm. shall come. Mm -hmm. Even now, there are many Antichrists, yes. whereby we know that it is the last time. Yeah. This is prophetic. This is the word of God. Yes, we is. see the ripple effect. Yeah. That we see the strategy of the enemy that wants to contaminate the way of thinking in household. Yeah. And even within churches. And even within leadership in governments. Yes. When we start to dilute the power of God, dilute the word of God, dilute uh -huh. the message of love and salvation. Yeah. It's not like, just like that city in New Mexico. Uh -huh. Truth or consequences. Mm. That's the bottom line. Truth or consequences, and it's going to come down the line. This is what's causing this. Is like little children, it is the last time, as you know. Mm -hmm. And you have heard that the Antichrist shall come. Mm -hmm. Even now, there are many Antichrists. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing our lives, this is the Word of God. She has to be a testimony through the marketplace, yes. through the highways and hedges, in her writing in her thinking, in her speaking, in her living, because the spectators are watching. Yeah. Then they'll turn around and say, oh my God, is that Christianity? Mm. They are watching every move that we make. That's why our lives are to be a living, breathing testimony. Yes. Yes. Amen. No matter what it takes, even if they call it a bunch of holy rollers. Oh, that's all right. All right. So right here they go again, a bunch of hallelujahs for hallelujah yes. to the living God. Amen. Because these are very serious and we're yes. at the boiling point. Some yes. of these issues are at the front burner right uh -huh. now. A lot of them. Yes. And either we deal with them right now mm -hmm. or the enemy's going to gain more ground. Yeah. Because all this... Everything apart from God mentality is having the ripple effect. I talk to people, and I talk to people left and right, and I deal with a lot of people every day. And last week I was at the county jail, and it only took one person with his mindset to come in and start up a big fight. See, it takes one person. Oh, yeah. 
even behind the pulpit or behind the pulpits in government or behind the pulpits in our ivory towers of education it takes one person to contaminate the message. Yes, yes. Yes. And that Sunday it took one person to start a fire, and another one, and another one, and another one. And here I am with my Bible, like, oh my God, I said, and I just started yelling, You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Mm. You ought to have more respect for the Word of God. By the time I knew it, there was four people fighting, everybody just knocking down each other. Like, oh my God, thank God that He's covered with His precious blood. Mm. Thank God that the Word says that He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Because apart from that, this mindset where this out there is everybody so cool. Oh yeah, do we really need God? Well, I'll tell you one thing, we're under the covering or we're not. Yeah. We're under the plan of salvation or we've fallen for the snare of the enemy. That mindset that is causing a ripple effect right now, we should be praying and we should be fasting because the word of God says, if my people shall pray yes. and fast, yes. then I will go heal their land. See, it's very important. And you tell something, somebody they look at you like, oh, you're way off, you know, like, oh, going cook or something. Like, well, whatever they think. But I'll tell you one thing, in my trials, in the attacks of the enemy, I know what I have desired of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Say, overflow me with your spirit. Yes. Teach me, oh God. I don't want to get sidetracked and bring that pot of soup that that chef was cooking. <laughs> and just throw it out. It's like, oh my oh, God. God. Say, Lord, teach me. Yes. I tell you, I have to go into the prayer and the fasting. Say, Lord, what is it? Say, this apostasy. Mm. This ripple effect mm. that is all over the land right now. Yes. Hallelujah. And thank God for discernment. Mm -hmm. Discernment against all deception. God wants us to rise as an army. I said, that does not conform to the will of God. Mm -hmm. And that's all right if they tell you, oh, you're judging. Mm -hmm. That's all right. They're going to come up with a little opinions. Mm -hmm. Well, we have to interpret the word of God for what it is. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And it says right there that many yes. anti-Christ even yes. now. Yes. And we talk to people and even families. Uh -huh. It bothers them. It bothers many right now. That's why we have to have a living, breathing testimony every day. We gotta stand firm, stand in authority. Yeah. And we gotta go against the giants as well. Yeah. Like David against Goliath. Yes. If not, the enemies have got him in that corner. I'm gonna pick the heck out of him. Mm. And well, no way. <laughs> we'll take a 40. We we'll take authority in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. See, is it's a form of godliness and a yeah. saturating. Yeah. La -la -la. Then there is a total rejection of Christ. See, Christ is also with dealing with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. yes. And like I said earlier, we go in places and say, oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, they almost want to calm me down. Like, oh, 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 don't get to <laughs> oh, but maybe we want to jump. We want to say hallelujah. We want to pray in tongues. Yeah. Sing in tongues. Yeah. Because this is a word of God. Hallelujah. Yes. To overcome, yes. or the enemy comes and defeats us. Yes. Yes. And the ammunition is here. Yes. He's given us the rules of engagement. Yes. Yes. He's given us the rules of engagement to yes. take authority. Yes. That's why we see so much stuff going on, so much separation, divorce, this, that, everything else. And now we have an immigration problem with this problem, that problem, opioid problem, mm. everything. But the worst of all, rejection of God, yes. mm -hmm. rebellion. Yeah. Because every other idea is not going to work. That's right. And that mindset that wants to contaminate, it's got to go. Yes. Individually and corporately, it's got to go. Mm -hmm. They'll say, oh my God, you tell them at the jail, they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you, oh, you're turning to the jailhouse Christianity. I said, well, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. We're turning to church house Christianity. That's all right. We're out there, you know, just talking too much about God. That's all right. Let it know. Let it, mm -hmm. there's, sometimes there's all this other stuff mm -hmm. out there, but God, mm -hmm. that's where we got to move forward. Yeah. In this area, also, I want to touch also on, on a blessing mm -hmm. and a cursing. Mm -hmm. In the book of Deuteronomy, yes. chapter 28 and verse 1, God is so awesome. See, this is what happens with this mindset, this apostate mindset, this defecting whatever. Yeah. Look, there's countries out there. I know that you apostate yourself from a certain belief, a certain ism, well, they'll come looking for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, so we're blessed right here. Yes. We're very blessed. 
Amen. The book of chapter 28 in the book of Deuteronomy. Yes. God is just so awesome. Yes, He is. And you know, it just, and I'll tell you, this doesn't make sense to be apart from God right now. It, it's hurtful. Yes. It's, it's just really, uh, yes. but hallelujah, He is. He is there. The Word of God says in Deuteronomy that He is, and I'm sorry, the Word of God, He says that He is Jehovah Shammah. That God is there. That God is there. Chapter 28 and verse 1, it says, And it shall come to pass, yeah, yeah. if thou shalt hearken yeah. diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all His commandments, yeah. Which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above yes. all nations yes. of the earth. Amen. And it keeps on going. It says, And all his blessings shall come on thee yep. and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken yes. unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Yes. Blessed shall thou be in the city. Uh -huh. Blessed shall thou be in the field. Yes. Blessed shall be in the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy ground. And the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase in thy kind, the flux of which he blesses shall be thy basket in thy store. Yeah. And it just keeps going on. Yeah. If we either we want to be blessed, or the enemy is going to come and steal that blessing, uh -huh. if we decide to follow that crowd, uh -huh. this apostasy crowd, this, you know, these cool, believing people out there that say, What? You're going to church? Or, wow, you're changing. <laughs> Why are you changing? What got into you? Uh -huh. Why are you going weird on me? So right, whatever they want to call us. Why are, you, why are you getting so radical about God? It's so right, radical. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. That's good. We're an army. We're supposed to rise as an army. That's right. That's right. That his kingdom come. That's right. That his will be done yes. on earth. Yes. In our lives. In our homes. In our churches. Amen. In our governments as well. We pray for those in authority. We pray for everyone and one another. And it says right here in verse 15 in the same chapter, verse 14. See, this is what's happening when we everybody says, he said, well, let me think about it, I don't know. Uh -huh. And thou shalt not go aside uh -huh. from any of the words which I command thee this yeah. day, yeah. to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. See, that's one of the biggest ones. Mm -hmm. Idolatry yeah. is an open door for the apostate mind. Yeah. For this ripple effect of apostasy. Everybody's running to this other idea. Uh -huh. Bow down, bow down to everything else but yeah. God. And uh -huh. it's not going to work. Because it's not living, it's not breathing. There's no power in it. That's right. That's Hallelujah. Right. Amen. Verse 15 says, But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. to observe, to do all His commandments uh -huh. and His statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Yeah. The curses shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. Mm -hmm. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Mm -hmm. Curse shall be thy fruit of thy body mm -hmm. and thy fruit of the land. The increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Mm. Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in, and yes, cursed yes, shall yes, thou be yes, when thou goest out. See, there is a danger yeah. for following that cool crowd out there. Uh -huh. There is a danger for following all these philosophies, all these opinions about God. There is a danger to be engaged in such a religious spirit mm. about, apart from God. Because it's, it has nothing to do with a religious hierarchy. But the dominion and the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm. That's where we're at. When we break away from all those other ideas. And we have to every day. Because somebody comes along and the boys are smooth talkers. Oh yeah. They come around and they give you all these nice ideas. Like, ah, mm. it's too much. Just chill out. Let's go out there. Well, out there has been a danger zone for me. Yeah. And like I've shared with you. Off and time again, and this is what the word says that out there many didn't make it back from Egypt. Mm -hmm. From Egypt, that old camel gave up when they decided to go back to Egypt in the middle of a desert. 
He gave up. Yes. There's consequences. There's hurt. There's pain. Because we were, uh, many were said, oh, many have backslidden. Mm -hmm. Many have gone back to their ideas. And, and they said, well, it's all right to do this. Mm -hmm. It's all right to do that. It's all right. But see, the Word of God speaks about tempered mortar mm -hmm. and untempered mortar. Mm -hmm. It speaks of a mixture that tries to infiltrate the plan of God, the plan of salvation. Mm -hmm. But it isn't going to work. It never will work. That's Hallelujah. Right. So either we open the door this day and every day to the blessing or the cursing. You know, we say, God, teach me, give me discernment. Because it is out there right now. Mm -hmm. That ripple effect yes. upon the sea, upon the nation and nations. But then there's God. Amen. He's tearing on the strongholds of the enemy. Because we as believers, see, he is empowering each and every one, uh, one of us individually. Yes. To deliver the word, whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. In the marketplace, Walmart, whatever, the big mall, whatever it takes. Even in families. Yeah. Because families will sit around the tables and all of a sudden the talk is everything else about God. So you better declare God right there in the middle. Yeah. Right now. If not, everybody starts to believe everything else. Mm -hmm. Because the enemy's strategy is this apostate set of mind. Mm -hmm. To be effective, to be set apart. And it's doing a work in many right now. Oh, yeah. Many. I've talked to people going through church strife, search divisions, relationship in, the, in families. But what is it? Mm -hmm. the, the moment they start to throw in all this other stuff mm -hmm. in the soup, and they wonder, it's like, oh my God, what is happening in our church? Mm -hmm. What is happening in our family? Mm -hmm. What is happening in our country? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah that He's teaching us. And it's showing us great and mighty things. We yes. remember that he said, call on me yes. and I will answer you yes. and show yes. you great, great and mighty things, things which yes. are most not. Yes. yes, amen. Praise God. And another area of concentration here, because I usually like to concentrate on four areas, is a good name is rather to be chosen. Mm -hmm. In the book of Proverbs chapter 22. Yes. Turn with me right there. The book of Proverbs chapter 22 yes. and verse 1. Hallelujah. So I right to say hallelujah. Amen. It's so right to allow the Spirit of God to move. It's so right not to be stagnant because the enemy would want to keep us stagnant. Oh, yeah. Just stay there like a raggedy hand right there, raggedy <laughs> handy, right there in the corner. Not, not able to say nothing or do nothing and to absorb everything yes. else but God. Amen. The book of Proverbs chapter 22. Hallelujah. He's a mighty God. Yes. He is the living God. Hallelujah. And in chapter 22, verse 1, the Word of God says, A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, yes. and love and favor rather than silver and gold. Yes. The rich and the poor meet together. Uh -huh. The Lord is the maker of them all. Yes. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, mm -hmm. but the simple pass on and are punished. By humility and the fear of the Lord, are riches and honor and life. Mm. Thorns and snares are in the way of the fraud. He that doth keep his soul shall be far from them. Yes. Look at Thank verse 6. Lord. Train up a child in the way that he should go. Yes. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. That's right. See, this training goes on and on and yes. on and on. Yes. Even yes. when they call you, yes. your sons and your daughters and guests, Guess what, you know? Guess, him, guess is what's going on. So, well, let me tell you what God is doing. Mm -hmm. Well, let me pray for you. Let me send you a, a message. Let me consistently mm -hmm. to be empowered by the Word and the Spirit before the enemy comes out, mm -hmm. out there with his, you know, he's going to use friends. He continues to use friends and mm -hmm. relatives and co-workers oh, yeah. with this mindset that's out there right now. This mm -hmm. apostasy, this setting apart, this rebellious spirit. Mm -hmm. It says right there, train up a child in the way he should go. When he is old, he will not depart from it. That's right. See, because a lot of times, a lot of times they do not train. They end up in key positions. Mm. In the ivory towers of education or in the ivory towers of government or in churches. Mm. And what happens, see, they're not trained in the Word, empowered by the Spirit. They're going to start to throw everything else by God. And people are going to believe it. Mm. Because a lot of times people just go for style all the time. Oh wow, sounds really cool. 
Wow, he's an awesome speaker. Mm. Then they come out feeling empty. Mm. There's no substance. There's yes. no better salvation. Yes. Yes. We have to declare and decree consistently, but with the leadership of the church, yes. the nation, all over. This yes. is what God says. Yes. That if a man has not love, he is not of God. Yes. Because God is love. Mm -hmm. And we just believe that. And this is really awesome. Yeah. Because what happens in, in that training, in that boot camp, and all that, you know, it's, you know, I still remember my daughters when I was raising them as a single parent. It was, okay, who's praying today? Who's next? It was really awesome. And I can still think of that sitting around the table. It blessed me so much. And I can still, still they still call me. They, they'll send me a message, Dad. This is going on. Well, let's pray about it. And this is really awesome. And it says right here. And this is right here, the train up a show in the way that yes. you should go because there's only one way, it's only been one right. way, yeah. nothing else. And when he is sold, he will not depart from it. Mm -hmm. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, right here, this is really awesome because this is what we see right here. This is really something because God places us in authority. Yes, yes. God places us in authority. And so our mind has got to be engaged in the Spirit and the Word of God. If not, we'll come up with every other idea but God. Chapter 29, the book of Proverbs, and verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Yes. See, we see the, the effect right here. The ripple effect. When everything else is entered in the decision-making process in churches, in families, in governments, and nations, mm -hmm. we see the ripple effect of this apostasy. Mm -hmm. It says right here, when the righteous are in authority, mm -hmm. see that's you in your home, in the church, under the authority of God, under the authority of the Holy Spirit, the people rejoice. Mm -hmm. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Mm. And there's a lot of mourning right now, a lot of areas, in families, in relationships. I got out for a little bit, as I shared earlier, and boy, a lot of relationship issues. And I was like, oh my, well, let's pray about it. And I get to the Dollar General, and I hear all this and all this, well, let's pray about it. And I'll tell you, a lot of relationship issues. Mm. But most of all, a lot of rebellion issues. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because we're diluting the message in a lot of areas. Yeah. Believing, but not living. And I was talking to people all the time, and so this has got to happen. That when the righteous are in authority, taking authority, taking authority over our marriage, our children, our home, our lives. Mm -hmm. You know, the only thing about this is when we know our identity in Christ, what we know about authority. <clears throat> because there's people in churches right now that don't know their identity in Christ. So, how can they take authority? How can they know the spirit of the apostasy, that mindset of rebellion, mm. if they're not discerning? Mm. But once they take authority, that once they know who they are, mm. their identity in Christ, the once they know about the empowerment through the word and the spirit of the living God, it's like, I'm like, it's like oh my God, I'm not going to put up with this, mm. or that, or that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'll tell you one thing. So anything that takes precedence over the word of God, and I was, somebody was discussing something online. I said, no, 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 no. There's all this opinion, mm -hmm. but nothing should take precedence over the yeah. Word of God. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Because he will start to get a, turn out to be a big monster. A big apostasy monster or whatever. It's out there. Mm -hmm. There's an idea, that opinion. There's that wavering going on right now. I said, well, let me think about it. Well, there ain't nothing too long. You're either serving God. Is, you know, that old Bob Dylan song, and it says, who are you going to serve? Yeah. You're going to serve the devil or you're going to serve the Lord. Mm. And it's just, that's the word of God. You know, kind of corners. Mm. Well, I said, oh, you're too. Well, no, I'm not religious. It's about a relationship. <laughs> it's about a relationship yeah. with the living God. So yeah. we see it for what it is. And say, I want to work. Mm. I'm going to be blessed. I'm going to yeah. open the door for the blessing. I'm going to yeah. shut that door for the cursing. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. And I declare and decree over my family, yes. over the church, and over our loved ones. Blessing after blessing after blessing Praise in the God. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. But believe me, we know that for a fact. That, yeah. that mindset is out there. Yeah. Yeah, is. And we're not going to put up with it. Uh -uh. We refuse to compromise on truth. Amen. Amen. We're not going to be like Peter and say, oh, no, I know. The middle of the road. 
Oh, wait a minute, I didn't know him. Things started to get pretty hot in the kitchen. Oh, no, I don't know him. No, no, no. I know him. And if we have to go through this, we're going to go through that. Yeah. But I refuse to throw in the towel of defeat. That's good. Hallelujah. Amen. He is the living God. Yes, he is. Yes. Praise God. And that's all right. He said, Lord, teach us. Yes. And help us not to fall into the snare of the apostasy and the ripple effect. Mm -hmm. God bless each and every one of you. Praise you know, God. just continue yeah. to pray for me that everything will be so cool today. Yeah. There's no, no boxing ring at the jail today. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. It was, but it takes one person to. Uh -huh. And they say, well, you're not going to be able to minister. Yeah. They're, they're all fighting and yeah. bending up each other. I said, this is the only time that it's happened in eight and a half yeah. years at the jail. Wow. But I could see the person who it was and mm -hmm. the instigator, the enemy comes to oh, instigate. Wow. Yes, he did. Get us all stirred up. Yeah. Yeah. But hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I just want to thank you because God is so awesome. Praise and I thought there was a the message that it's out there. Yes. It's out there, but we're not gonna put up with it. We refuse right. to compromise. That's it. We refuse yeah. a big pot of soup that has nothing yeah. to do with God. <laughs> all these other recipes that man is oh, throwing in there are not gonna work. Amen. Amen. God bless each and every one of you. Praise I God. love you and that's for your prayers. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Pastor Jose. Pastor Thank you, Lord. Patricia.